Hello, in this video tutorial, we are going to connect our Phenoms domain name to our blogger's website. Okay, so this is my blogger's website and this is my Phenoms account. So we're going to be connecting this domain name. This is a free domain name I registered on Phenom and I'm going to be teaching you how you can connect it to your blogger's website. So stick around and see how we're going to do it. All right, so make sure you first of all log into your blogger's account and then go to settings. Once you are there, scroll down and then click on the custom domain. Good. Now you see a pop up like this asking you to enter a custom domain name here. Go back to your free norms dashboard where you register your domain name. And then let me show you how to land on this particular page. You can get there by click on services and then click on my domains and you will be brought to a page just like this. Please go ahead and click on manage domains. Now Head and click on manage free norm domain name. Okay, so just click on it like this. And if you are seeing a page like this, you have to go back and then change it to the default name service free norm is giving you. If not, it won't work. So just click on back to domains. And this time, click on manage tools and then click on name service because we want to change it to the default name service. And right now, I'm using my web hosting name service. Okay, I'm pointing to my own web hosting. Okay, so I don't want that. I want to connect to my blogger's website. Go ahead and choose the default name service. So you click here and then save the changes. After that, go back and click on Manage Free Norm DNS. And this time, you need to copy your domain name. Okay, so this is the domain name on top here. Just copy it. And then go back to your blogger's website. And then paste your domain name here. But first, put www dot and then paste your domain name here. After that, click on save. Now we're seeing an error here. We need to set our C names, okay, and our destination. So to do so, Go back to your free norm here and here go ahead and choose the type as C name. C name. Okay. And the target, go back to your blogger's website and select your first target. So the first target will be, which is the destination, this one. Okay. So this is the destination. Wait. That's ghs dot google dot com okay so this is my destination this may vary i don't know maybe country to country okay so just copy it that's the destination the first destination if you cannot see it let me zoom a little bit because i know some of you may not be able to see it. so let me zoom a little bit perfect now let me explain what is happening here so you can see there are two C names here. The first is this is the name, which is www. Okay. So let's start from the name. Okay. So the first one is www. Just copy it. Copy. Go back to the print on. And then here, paste the www there. Just paste it there. Fantastic. And make sure you choose your type as C name. After that, go and copy the what? 
the destination, which is the target. So just copy the destination like this. Copy. Go back to your free node. And then paste it here. Get on the target. Okay. Paste it there. Click on more records. This time, go ahead and copy your second name. So the second name here is here. Name, which is here. So just copy it like this. Fantastic. And then click on copy. Go back to your free norm. And then paste your name here. Good. Click on C name. This way. And then go back to blogger. And then this time, select your copy or your second destination which is here all the way to this part and then copy it go back there and paste it good go ahead and click on save changes and wait Congress records added successfully. Now you can go back to your blogger's website. And then all you need to do is to click on save. Now this can take up to 24 hours. So guess be patient enough here because it's going to propagate. Okay. So guess click on save changes and wait. Now they were not able to update it. Now, if you continue to see an error, okay anytime you click on save let me show you the error could not update settings after let me say an hour or so go ahead and continue these steps okay these steps so you copy this address okay copy it and then open it in a new tab so i'll open I'll open it in my new tab like this and then I'll open it once you land on the Google support page about blogger scroll down and we're going to add four records okay so these are IPs we're going to add which are a records and this will point to Google API. Okay. So go back to your renom and then add three additional records. So you just click on this one, two, three. Go back to the page, the support page, and then copy the first address like this and then go back to free now and guess this way we'll be pasting it so you paste it here go back there copy the second ip copy this is very important you have to do that okay sorry which is here free now I'll paste it here. I'll copy the third one here, like this, and then I'll go back to Freenom and I'll paste it here. And finally, we'll copy or we'll copy and paste our last IP. here and then copy and I'll go back to free now and I will paste that there good job now click on save changes and wait and as you can see all the six records have been added successfully okay you can see one two three four five six these were the two we added and these are the IPs with the IPs, make sure they are all A record, A, 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 and we have 
see name see name and then you save the changes after that wait like 15 minutes and then go back to your error page and click on save and it will work okay so i'll click on save after waiting for some time and as you can see the settings updated and now we are good to go okay now after successfully updating the changes or saving it the final thing you need to do is to turn on redirection okay so you need to redirect the domain name to the new one so go ahead and toggle this on just click on it wait and everything will work fine for you okay if this video has been informative and you would like to see more content like this go down subscribe to the youtube channel that way anytime i release a video you are notified thank you very much for watching this tutorial video and i will see you on my next one take care